we're looking at a level 2 functional skills exam question and this one's a little easy to misunderstand so I'm going to draw lots of pictures over in this space to try and help clear things up Kelvin keeps a record of the overtime he works this is his record for last week and this table tells us that on Monday he worked for 45 minutes, on Tuesday he worked for one and a half hours, etc. Kelvin is paid £6.35 for each block of 30 minutes overtime he works in a day. He cannot carry over any minutes to another day. Kelvin thinks he will get more than £100 for his overtime last week. Is Kelvin correct? Okay, so the, the way I'm going to approach this question, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to work out how many blocks of overtime he worked on Monday, how many blocks on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, add them all up, that's the total number of blocks of overtime he worked, and then times that by how much he gets paid for each block. So, Monday. On Monday, he works for 45 minutes. Well, if I draw it on a clock, 45 minutes looks like this. So that's what he worked on Monday. Now, he's paid in blocks of 30 minutes overtime. So he's only paid for this bit. He can't be paid for the second bit because he hasn't worked a block of 30 minutes. So this little extra bit he's done here, he's not getting paid for. He's only getting paid one block of 30. So on Monday, that's one block of 30 minutes over time he's paid for. On Tuesday, he works for one and a half hours. There's one hour, and that's half an hour, because it's uh, half, of, well, half of an hour, that's half of a circle. Uh, and how many blocks of 30 minutes is this? Well, in this full hour, a full hour is 60 minutes, so that's two blocks of 30 and one extra block of 30 for the half an hour makes three blocks of overtime in total. Uh, Wednesday, three hours, one, two, three. Uh, just the same as this hour, each one of these is 60 minutes, which means there's two blocks of overtime in each of them. So for three hours on Wednesday, that's six blocks of 30 minutes. On Thursday, he works for 50 minutes. Uh, now 50 minutes is more than half an hour, so it's more than half of a block, but it's not quite a full hour so it's not quite two blocks. On a diagram it would look like that and he's only getting paid for for this block of 30 minutes that he did. He doesn't get paid for this other bit so that's just one block of overtime. And finally, uh, I might have to squeeze it in down here, on Friday he's working for two hours and 40 minutes which looks something, something like that. Now this hour we can do, we've done that a couple times now, that's one, two, three, four blocks of overtime and then this one, he's only paid for this little bit, which makes five blocks in total for Friday. Okay, I'm just going to rub away some of this stuff so I can leave myself some space to use the calculator. Lovely. Right, so he's worked one hour on Monday, three on Tuesday, six, sorry, not one hour, one block of overtime he's getting paid for on Monday, three blocks on Tuesday, six on Wednesday, one on Thursday, five on Friday. So if I add all those numbers together, that's the total number of blocks of overtime he'll be paid for. So one on for Monday, three for Tuesday, six for Wednesday, one for Thursday, and five for Friday. Okay, I'm gonna copy that to my working out box to make sure I get the marks there. So this says that he's worked for 16 blocks of overtime altogether. And for each block of overtime, he's paid for six, he's paid six pounds 35. So I'm gonna take that answer, times it by 6.35, six pounds 35, to get 101 pounds now this is currency, so I'm going to be I'm going to put a zero on the end there. I'm not just being picky. I'm doing that deliberately because if it's currency, you've got to give it to two decimal places. So this isn't 101.6. This is 101 pounds and 60 pence. So I've got to put that zero in. All right. So I've done all the maths I need to do. I'm just going to come back to the question. Kelvin thinks he will get more than 100 pounds for his overtime last week. Is Kelvin correct? Well, this is how much he'll get for his overtime last week which is more than £100, so is he correct? Yes, he is. All right, there you go. That's three marks.